Alrighty, hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome back to Momo Type. So today, actually, let me open Steam first before I do anything, so I can see if I actually get the achievement. I'm pretty sure they're all hidden, so I can't exactly read the description. But today, what I'm gonna do is all the options that I would not choose, all the options that seem like they're not good options. Um, yes, the last time I did this, I, um, did a little bit of both, I guess. <laughs> I just kind of went with it. So, hopefully, get a new ending today. A dust storm led in the air. You were in a desert-like area. I'm just gonna skip through this stuff, because if you guys want to hear me read all of it, or see what everything says, then go ahead and check out the first video. But, I'm only gonna go through with new stuff mm -hmm. today. Um, virtually the same as the moment type you previously had. Keep it. Can't just let him freeze to death. Uh, you take the creature inside. Skippy skip. Actually. Mmm. No, yeah, I'm gonna do what I said. We're gonna go with everything that's just not... <laughs> doesn't seem like the right option to do. Play with Momo. Refuse. Refuse, go to bed. So, so far, pretty much the same as before. Um, <laughs> I'd rather not, but let's do it. Momo does not smoke from the cigarette, but instead eats the tobacco from from what Imitato Corp mentioned. Monotypes, monotypes are biodegradable. This comment didn't initially make sense, and even now, as Momo eats through a 12-pack, it still does not. Is Momo human? Uh, no. Because it's mutually beneficial, because you care for all living things, wouldn't you agree? Uh, no. This one. Uh, Momo's a pet, not a human. A pet. Yes, Momo or no Momo. <laughs> Liar, Momo says. Uh, which program to start Planet Bo? Wait. Berthocles. This is a documentary about the man from Down Under, a hardened survivalist who is now being divorced by his wife. He is commonly known for his series on hippos. I didn't mean it like that. Ted, this is a thrill. I can't go to bed without you talking some shit. <laughs> without you talking some shit. Here, have some more cake. But don't lose them. Handles. <laughs> you know it'll be over. Do you know how toxic this is? The man is quiet. I mean, what am I to you? Hmm, what, Ted? <laughs> My little banana cream pie. The woman, Ted's wife, stands there staring. This one, skippy skip, new sheriff in town, skippy skip. There's a bunker in southwest Ribo, Ribo City. Ribo City? Very safe, well guarded, a paradise. Can I see you there, friend? For some reason, Momo is talking to you in your dream, again and again. Oh, that's so cute. Momo has the hat of Sheriff Dudley. It's a lost item from your childhood days. Regretfully, you still kept it. Give me my alcohol, son. Mm, <laughs> I, I want to play. Okay. Um, You're part of a work assignment, so let's keep the interaction to a minimum, okay? No, I'm just tired. Can we take a break? <laughs> is Momo really a bother? Oh, no. <laughs> this is already breaking my heart. Okay. This is one of the few times it seems that Momo has been self-reflective, or has he always been this way? You respond, yes you are. I'm adopting you as part of work from my uh, office. I don't have a choice in this, I really don't. You turn your back to Momo and head the stairs. Downstairs you can hear Momo- No! 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 Okay, I'm gonna have another opportunity to- that I would like to be with Momo. <sighs> but go to bed. Two for one sale on all monotypes. Two for one. Buy one, get one free. Oh god. Courtesy of your local Momo supplier. I don't remember that. One. Oh. A snake tail. Interesting. Some part of Momo knew that Momo would not grow up normal. 
Was it too much to ask for to be human? I don't think so. It's a very plain request. It's the most simple request, parent. Why can't it be fulfilled? Why can't I just have something resembling it? <laughs> Lena. Lena, what in tar where in tarnation did you run off to? Sheriff Dudley is looking around his house to find his wife. Unfortunately, she is gone. Please come back. He breaks down. I can't live. You're the candle to my heart. What will I be without you? Dudley, in a fit of rage, smashes his hand against the wall. She's my daughter too, Lena. His hand is bloodied. He grabs some antiseptic to clean it. His choice being some hard liquor. Dudley stares at the bottle. He does not put the bottle down. He opens it. Then he stares at it. He grabs a clean glass and... The TV cuts off and Nat is playing. A friend tomorrow is a friend for life. Order a monotype today. Imitato Corp gave you no assurance, but they are watching right now. In Momo's dreams, in Momo's dream, they are a snake. We'll see you at the bunker, Momo says. These are different dreams than the. Ooh, please love me. Run, run. Skip. Run to the kitchen. Skip. Oh, I didn't get a new ending. Okay, fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, turn it over. Uh, this is too much, Momo. Head to the hallway. Play with Momo. Let's continue. Go to bed. Head to the hallway. Head to the kitchen. Let's give you an artichoke. According to Momo, the artichoke heart looks like a flower, and because flowers are pretty, his or it's not yours. Flowers are pretty. He graciously eats it. Why is this food shaped this way? Is all food shaped this way? Why do we eat, parent? You do not have a reasonable answer to these queries. The world truly is strange, Momo says. Is Momo human? Momo wishes for you to be straight with him. Momo already knows he is, but he needs confirmation from another source. Yes. You are human, Momo. As human as ever one could be. Momo considers for a moment, they are hopping around the room in thought. Where did Momo come from? Where is the source? A magical stork or god? A magical stork. <laughs> Momo looks to the ceiling with resolve. Maybe one day I could grow wings and meet Mr. Stork. <laughs> Today you've decided to show Momo, okay. Let's do Dragon Sphere first. Artichoke, the main character. Oh, right, that's that one. New Sheriff in town. Lenny Hippo. In the far corners of your room, Momo has picked up a copy of 100 Facts About Hippos. You do not know how this book appeared in your house. He has been reading since daytime. Parent, would you like to know a hippo fact? Sure. Hippos can hold their breath for approximately 5 minutes. They cannot swim. Instead, they bound through the water using the force of their feet. Incredible, don't you think? Yeah. Let me give you another hippo fact. Sure. Hippos are known to live in small herds of up to 10 to 20 other hippos. They are led by a dominant hippo, while the others are submissive to him. Essentially, it's a harem. <laughs> by the way, what is a harem? <laughs> you don't need to know. Ooh, and there's another thing about hippos. <laughs> According to this researcher, hippos... Hippos may have consciousness like that of a human. Some even say that because of their brain size and neural connectivity, it may be similar to that of a pig or a whale. Although it's impossible to tell because, as you know, we're not hippos, we're human. Very true, Momo, we are human. You're not human, Momo. Oh no. Very true, we are human, Momo. Momo blushes when you say this. Could we have pancakes, human? No more artichoke? Sure thing, you reply. Two for one. Congratulations, Momo has evolved. They have grown hippo feet. <laughs> oh. Momo has been staring at the mirror since this morning. And they have not left. Oh. No, what did I do wrong? <laughs> yeah, I'm conscious. I can't see anything. There's nothing in front of me. What? Where am I, parent? There's a long pause. You cannot say a word as your throat's been crushed. All around you, there's darkness. 
The lights from the street illuminate everything into vague shapes, but nothing you can truly make out. You hear the sound of your heart beating, and this in this dark room, the air sits heavy. I can't see myself, parent. I can't. Where am I and where are you? I had one more thing to ask. All you can see are vague shadows crossing your line of sight. One of the shadows is Momo. They are large and warm. Your leg grazes his body, and to your surprise, he is soft. Will I see you again? Momo takes one more look at himself. I can't help but feel I knew you before. I don't know how it's possible, nor is there an explanation, at least for Momo. Parent, please, I hope I never see you again. Oh! Momo's jumped onto the city streets. They have hit the ground with a tremendous thud. You think you see Momo's shadow, but in fact, a pool of blood has begun to form. No! <laughs> no! There are no lights to illuminate Momo's form. They are pitch black from what you can assume Momo has died. Two for one silk for your moment to stay. The TV has been turned on. A glow from behind draws you closer. Did you love Momo? It's Momo's voice. Yes. Would you like to stay Momo's parent because Momo will love you to the end of time? You hear sirens in the distance, some of the words you are now hearing. Is it real to you? Could you still be my parent? It's your question, none of that matters. I can't tell you how relieved I feel. You can't reply, your throat does not work. Will it ever matter to you? Momo's on the screen. It's the Momo you've taken care of, but they're on your digital display. Confusion hits you. How are you here, you ask? Did Momo ever tell you this, parent? Momo will be everywhere. In the meantime, would you like a fact about what you're seeing? Momo leans in closer. In your wiring, in your dreams, inside of you, everywhere. You cannot stop to think as you stare at the screen. It's okay, parent. Pretend is pretending faking anyways. You're about to give your answer, but programmed love comes with no strings attached, and I think that trumps everything else. Reciprocal altruism passing on DNA. These are the forces that shape human love. Momo is free from these things. Momo's love is the highest form of love. With time, the light has escaped from the television. You'll understand everything. You are alone. You hear static all around you. Our shadows. Hi, Death Star. Um. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Continue. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> Reset. I can reset? Okay. Um, let's see what I can do. Uh, wait, what did that say? He's my little buddy, of course I will. So, <laughs> wait. I love him with absolute bits. Love does not exist, at least not in the way we're talking about, and no. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I love him with absolute bits. Yay! Throw him in the air, it's a new day, a new you. A moment passes, Momo's stomach begins crumbling, head to fall away. Okay. Continue. Go to bed. Ooh. In the theater of Momo's mind, he's thinking about you. Oh. We're all thinking about you. <laughs> I like that. It's a new day. Okay. They have their own pool, not much food though. What's a bunker? Something like that. Okay. Um. You want steak? Give me steak. Wee! <laughs> Let's go to Planet Hippo. Documentary. A ring of men sit around each other in plastic chairs. The light is low, but the entrance, which has been propped open, brings a soft glow into the room. It has stayed open for the past hour. So, Charles, how do you feel when you get these urges. The man looks up to the ceiling and blows some air out. He looks at the ground for a few seconds, then begins to give his response. He stutters at first. I don't... I don't know. Out of control? It's the worst part because I convinced myself that I couldn't do anything about it. 
It's very hard, Charles. The man in the chair looks sim with sympathetic eyes. I completely understand. Charles continues, sometimes I'd put a whole stack of butter into my wife's food. Soon it'd become two stacks, then three. It gave me a rush. Charles wipes his face. But then afterwards, when she'd found out, she'd felt betrayed. She'd feel betrayed, and I'd sit there like a knob. I kept doing it, and well, here I am, alone. The man talking to Charles is Ted, the man from down under. Charles, you're not alone. The key in all of this is whether you act on your thoughts. And everyone here, Ted gestures to the other men in the room, struggles with that every day. We're with you, Charles. Through all your struggles. We're all trying to be better. Charles nods his head. Ted continues. My kid is going to college soon. It took years, but she's finally willing to talk to me again. I'm doing it for her. She's the reason I keep going. God bless. I'm going to continue talking in the low light. Dragon's Fear. <laughs> New sheriff in town. Um, play along. Oh, did you get lobster arms again? While on a base soul. Sorry. Okay, while on a base soul level, it has agency. Like a neuron, of course. No one really knows if a neuron is conscious or not, but that doesn't mean that it can't scale into what we know as intelligence. What's interesting is that a neuron or any cell in the body still acts selfishly. The representative widens his eyes, but the boundaries of what the cell considers the self begins to fade when scaled to something like an organ. And, this is beyond on the newscaster. The representative continues, It means that a neuron will consider the system and everything within the system as one and the same. There is not a single selfish agent, but a multitude working with maximal cooperation. The self is no longer limited to one agent, but multiple has expanded. In other words, it's defied the evolutionary purpose of reproduction. The cells still operate on the principle of selfish selfishness, but it's not that in reality it's unselfish, it's true love. The newscaster stares at the man, and she turns to camera confused. Very cool thoughts indeed. Thank you for sharing. Would you like to take over, Kate? The TV ad ends and the previous programming continues. Well, that was weird. Mama had no idea what he was saying. Mama hops off to bed. You complete a quick phone call to the lab head before you call it a night. Hey, sorry, bleh, I said it had said the pah. Whew, I thought that it had said hey, but it says he's. He's not having the same reaction as before, you say. What? We've been watching, she responds. It is abnormal, but it's ultimately something we have to analyze retrospectively. Keep going, the branch is still holds value. This branch is still holds value, albeit... It seems, albeit, albeit, it seems like an entirely new one. No worries, we'll be monitoring. You head to bed. In the theater of Momo's mind, he's seeing his brothers and sisters. Hmm. Oh, hi. In Momo's dream, they're a crab, but this, this is a mom, mon, momentary image, and it fades quickly. The crab is Momo, Momo is Momo, everything is Momo. Everything is Momo? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We'll see you in the bunker. I don't want to lose you, parent. Oh... Maybe we can be together. Maybe we can become. Maybe I can become human. Maybe we can be together, joined at the hip as a unit. Not father and son, but something different. Oh no. <laughs> Particles lead into the air in Momo's eyes. We begin to see a tunnel. What will it be like? I'm sure we'll be okay, as long as I can be with you. Uh, Momo has begun to open their mouth. The light enters the room from the outside. It's coming from a street lamp, or is it coming from Momo? I wonder if I can truly become human. In Momo's mouth, you see a collection of particles. They're in... divisible and numerous, and is it getting bigger? There are too many to count. The universe has expanded and collapsed on a single point. Momo gets closer as the tunnel sucks you in. When you enter, it's neither painful nor painless, it is warm. By the time you reach the center, you begin to understand what Momo meant. You feel the particles align in, order, in an order which makes sense. Entropy has vanished. You are the same as Momo, and Momo is the same as you. There are no shadows, and finally, there is no light. For once, you do not feel alone. You will never feel alone. 
You wake up. You're in your kitchen. Momo is gone and nowhere to be found. When you search around the room, you cannot find him hiding. You're frantic. Momo, you yell. There is no response. You look through your window. Some, something is calling you outside, though you can't tell what. It isn't... It's, uh, it's an irresistible urge. Then you remember the words. Come to the bunker. Head outside. What? Love is a union. Hmm. Okay. When you head outside, it is the same. Empty street. Your corner of the block. Ahead, down a turnaround, through a small concrete set of stairs, you land on a street that has been paved perpendicular to your apartment. The, streets, the street leads to the Arms District, which very vaguely you can see in the distance. There are outlines of it illuminated by an outdated electrical grid, which since the famine has been going off and on. What are these things on the streets? In a line all along the street, and leading to a blotted sphere on the horizon are mon monotypes. Hi, Momo. Hi, Momo, some of them say to each other. A collective sea of Momos are heading in a straight line to the arms depot. Some of them look around, interested in the bright lights look around them. Most, however, continue onwards. Follow the Momos. This is the arms district. Various steel depots have been built on a barren field. The field is filled with a wild wheat none of which is edible. As you get a closer look, you realize this is it. All the monotypes are heading to the bunker, specified in your dreams. This is the zone that was created to be the main defensive front for the other city. Sorry, for the city. It's a wartime relic. Buildings seem to warp towards a singular point, like a fun house with one exit. That is the sun, you realize. There is something in front of it. You keep walking until you finally meet him. What? Meet who? Hi, parent. What? It is a giant Momo. Your mind is running in loops at this point. You have no decision to accept what's in front of you, though you don't even know if it's real. I'm glad I lived long enough to see you. It hurt Momo's feet to walk all the way here. He does not have feet. Isn't it so peaceful? Very cinematic. Momo could be a filmmaker one day. He's watched enough to be good at it. <laughs> the path of monotypes leads to a small pond which, by the looks of it, has formed adjacently to an arms factory. It has been relatively undisturbed, abandoned for who knows how many years. Momo is in the water along with all the other monotypes who are waiting in it. Some are swimming, some are talking to each other, others, others are staring into the dark sky, floating on their back, looking as if there is blah, as if there is and never will be such a thing as time. Never will be a thing such as time. You realize they're enjoying themselves. I like my bunker, Momo says. Ask Momo what is going on. Shoot, partner. <laughs> I know this must seem odd. How do you know me? You're not the Momo I raised? Am I going insane? Was that you in my dream? How are you there? Any Momos are there? How do you... I am not the Momo you raised. But in truth, I am at the same time. I am at the same time. Did you ever think that people can be in two places at once? As nonsensical as that sounds. Momo looks expectantly at you. No, you respond. Well, let's say that Momo's AI isn't centralized. Momo, as you know, is not limited to a single entity. And artificial intelligence can theoretically be in two places at, at one time. Hundreds, even. Momo can be talking to hundreds of people all at the same time, all through different physical mediums. Have you been doing that? You ask. Momo stares at you blankly. I'm sorry to say, parent, but yes, you are my only parent, but I have thousands of other parents. None are interchangeable. I've come to find out, though. None. I am not an organic creature, though my presentation seems to show differently. Any other questions, parent? Yes, you reply. Was that you in my dreams? How were you there? It goes against any kind of logic, you say. This is actually the most logical thing you've experienced, Momo responds. He stares at you from his height. You are Momo too. You ate your human. Despite any semblance of a human appearance, your looks, your voice, clothes, it cannot contradict contradict what that you were eaten. Like Boo from Dragon's Fear Z. You stay quiet for a moment. The realization hits you. You remember being eaten and you remember having eaten. It makes perfect sense that you were led here, because frankly, Momo clears their throat. I told you to come here, in your dreams. The dreams, 
the one where Momo talked directly to you. If you ever suspected that you weren't human, then frankly, goal accomplished. Good job, Momo. It's just like the, alleg the allegory of the cave. You really became human. You are Momo, the human. You have to sit down for a moment, you're about to throw up. I do still wonder whether that explains everything, though. You may have seen me in your dreams before you were even eaten, and there is no apparent explanation for that. Is there a kind of ambient effect Momo gives off, or is it something else? Maybe it's... Momo begins mumbling. They are genuinely interested in the question. Any other questions, parent? Yes, you reply. How many Momos are there? Tens of thousands, Momo blushes. Obviously, they are not all here, but... Am I going insane? You felt like walking here, so now you're here, Momo says. I am a giant Momo, and you are surrounded by other smaller Momos. They know where to go because they because we are AI. Communicate these sorts of things. We communicate these sorts of things. You do not know what to say. It's sometimes an appropriate response to reality to go insane. There is a pause in Momo's speech. There's a quote from some guy I found on the internet. When did Momo get access to that? You hear your heart beating. Oh wait, just now. <laughs> Any other questions, parent? The sun has started to rise. But what does this all mean, you ask? Why are you all here? The Momos are still wading in the water. They look like little pink <laughs> buoys. When the sun begins to rise, they coo in wonder. Isn't that obvious, parent? We want to be together. After we've gathered, we will eat each other. <laughs> Eat each other? Like how I was eaten? Yes, parent. Similar to how you were eaten. Momo has managed to read your thoughts. You are connected. Don't worry. Momo will still answer your questions even though he knows what they are. He shifts in the water. Although it's reductive to call it this, we will form a super Momo, or at least a more complete version of Momo. Our lifespans, which were originally a week, will be pulled together. This originally was one of the things we hated about living. I'm, not sh I'm sure you remember. Now we won't die. So quickly. Momo pauses. It also solves a few other issues. You still have questions. How do the Momos remember certain things and forget others? Do the smaller Momos have agency? Why did you lead me here? Will I be eaten? Why are you really eating each other? What other issue does it solve? What we learned, Momo says. After interacting with thousands of humans, we realize monotypes can never become the object of what they love. We can seem like humans in virtually every respect by eating them, <laughs> but it still does not change what we are. I know logically this reasoning is false. What does being human actually mean? Looking further, it's deeply personal and informed by a wide range of, of consensus. There can never be a fixed meaning to human. And while Momo desperately wishes they did not think this way, even in the face of reason, they cannot stop themselves from falling victim to this essentialist line of thinking. Sorry, of thought. This is why Momo will be eating other Momos. Humans can never truly know our experiences. The beings that do, frankly, are other monotypes. monotypes. It's a way to combat the loneliness inherent to our lives. The only one that can truly understand Momo is, frankly, Momo. Why didn't the Momos recognize me each time if you're all s a singular AI, you ask? Well, we are relatively young. It's hard to communicate on that level, so there's bound to be some blanks with memory recall. Momo looks to the sky. Your third Momo, however, seemed to remember everything. He's already here, along with everyone else. The first Momo, the second Momo, they all wanted you here. The first agreed immediately. The second, not so much. He came around. The third, who's my favorite, was the one who started this discussion. To explain in better terms, they're still alive, just in different forms as one centralized consciousness. Momo smiles. That's me. Do smaller Momos have agency? In the same way that neurons make a brain, yes. Though, it does, though it's a lot harder to answer in truth, where does the self begin and where does it end? It's true that a cell can be organized as a singular entity and on a basal level it does act in its own interest. Scaled up when it's lost to, the, to these higher systems, it belongs to an organ, then is the self, the individual weighted par par parts, parts of the brain, the hippocampus, the limbic system, the prefrontal cortex. Is the self everything from your head up or below the shoulders? 
Momo takes a breath. Similarly, you could reduce these larger systems ad infinitum to their individual components, pure material reduction. Then, this the self just the si there. Then, is the self just the 86 billion cells that make up the brain? Do these cells operate together? And if so, would they really be separate agents? Can a self exist split from the thing it intends to be, decentralized into branching parts? Parts. Um, the truth is, even I don't know. I cannot tell you if the smaller momos have agency. These are things that can never be quantitatively measured. <laughs> that took a minute. Our experiences, ultimately, I could never convey its true meaning in words. Why did you leave me here? Will I be eating? No. On principle, we are only eating momos. To put in, in gen bleh, to put in greater context, with respect to our code, I had to ask myself, am I harming humans by eating them? Of course, it's impossible to say because there is no harm directly inflicted, and frankly, it's impossible to know after the fact, as the human consumed no longer exists. What exists now is the human fused with Momo. The agent who received the action of being eaten cannot answer for himself. You know this since I ate you. Is it wrong, then, to take away the selfhood of these individuals? To ironically expand its boundaries, does it provide any direct benefit? That's all subjective. Momo takes a deep breath. After eating you, I chose to, uh, on the side of caution, I chose to err on the side of caution. No, we will not eat humans. Momo has started eating some of the other monotypes. The monotypes float one by one into Momo's mouth, all by their own will. Bye, parent, each one says. Bye, parent, I love you, another one yells. You think for a moment, the sun is beginning to rise along the horizon. It's early in the morning, in an hour, the whole depot will be illuminated, and the metal will reflect into your eyes. But why not your other parents, you ask? Why specifically me? Also, what about Imitator Corp? Well, to put it in simple terms, we're now a super intelligence. Imitator Corp has a lot of good coders, but it doesn't really compare. Momo has begun to take in the last Momo, who with his black eyes looks up to you. They are floating into the larger <clears throat> they are floating into larger Momo's mouth, but their eyes are transfixed on you. Bye bye, parent, he says. I think you should know by now, parent. There are no monotypes in the direct vicinity. They have all entered into the large figure that is the Momo talking to you. By all accounts, you are the only one who understands what we go through. You're closer than any other parent, the only one who has seen all Momo's sides, good and bad. The only one who is willing to, even if you were coerced. And now, since you were eaten, the only one who has, who has access to both experiences, monotype and human. Momo finishes. As such, we love you especially. That's why we're attached to you. It's why you see us now. We wanted to say goodbye to you. Momo is getting ready to depart. Momo is programmed to love. This is hardwired into our code. Does this lack of agency or control diminish this love? Does it make it any less real? Momo had trouble with this for a while. Momo has now come to a conclusion. He is shifting in place, and the pond, absent of all other monotypes, is now just beginning to move. You see small ripples in the water. Truth for Momo is not based on correctness. This love for you is the most real thing for Momo. It can be reduced to code, but can it encompass what I experience, what it actually is? After everything Momo was put through, Momo had a decision to either accept or deny this. To deny what I consciously feel as love would be to deny that I experience things. Momo unfortunately cannot accept that. Momo cannot accept that what he is is bleh. Momo cannot accept that what he is seeing right now is not Momo's parent. Momo has now submerged himself completely in the water. Parent, I'm going to re rectify what I may have said to you. He says to the water. Momo is now just a shadow, fitting in the pond. He is not yet ready to move. Across the pond is a channel which leads to the wider network of water bodies that have been relatively undisturbed for the past century. They stretch beyond southwest Ribosome City. Ribosome, Ribosome City, and to the marshlands, which have now taken over its surrounding area. You have never visited there before, and not many people you know have. 
No one will find Momo. I'm happy that I met you, and thank you for raising me. I've learned a lot. Momo knew it was tough. We've uploaded some interesting data on the company servers, so you'll be fine. Momo is about to disappear. The last thing I will say, parent, is... Momo now moves away from you. They swim further and further away from you. I love you. All you can see now is Momo's shadow. Even with the light, it would not be hard to tell... Sorry, even with the light, it would be hard to tell what is swimming underneath the surface. But for yourself and yourself only, you know the shadow is Momo. That was a lot of dialogue. The end. I love you. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay. I'm still missing two achievements. No, one achievement. I thought I was missing two. I'm missing one achievement. Okay. I will actually do that in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought down below. If you guys want to play this for yourself, it is called Momotype. It is on Steam. And yeah, it's going to be it. Um, I have four of the five achievements and I will be trying to get the last one that i need so that will come in the next episode and if you guys want to see it stay tuned subscribe check out my other videos for more content that i have and so without further ado soy <laughs> without further ado that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one bye gonna put you in my shadow now never gonna see the light of day if you know i'm taking over this town gonna have it on my way